जनगणमन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कड बंगा भिंज हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाधा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे Honorable Chairman, Andhra Pradesh State Legislative Council, Honorable Speaker, Andhra Pradesh Leg Legislative Assembly, and Honorable Members of the State Legislature. It is indeed an honor and privilege for me to address the joint session of the present Legislative Assembly on this momentous occasion of the current budget session 2024-25. On being elected with an unprecedented mandate, my government has so far presented <coughs> four budgets and implemented a slew of welfare and development programs for the benefit of hitherto neglected sections. And it would not be an exaggeration if I say my government has put its heart and soul in fulfilling its promises. At the outset, <coughs> I place on record my deep sense of appreciation to the commitment of Honorable Chief Minister and the State Administration in installing the 206 feet statue of Dr. Baba Saheb Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar. The magnificent statue built in a sprawling campus of 18.81 acres in Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Suraj Maidan in the heart of Vijayawada city at the cost of 404.35 crores will remain in the history as a place to visit and to cherish its elegance for generations to come in the state of Andhra Pradesh. It stands as a testimony to my government's commitment to social justice, equality, and empowerment. I am pleased to inform this August House that, under the astute leadership of Honorable Chief Minister Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Redigaru, this pro-poor government has touched every section of the society, especially the underprivileged, vulnerable, and those 
in need of support, be it the farmer, the unemployed youth, the auto driver, the weaver, senior citizens, women, children, or any other member who is socially and economically backward has benefited in one way or the other from my government. Now, building human capital. Soon after coming to power, my government has observed that Andhra Pradesh is falling behind some of the other states in certain social parameters like quality education, learning outcomes, nourishment to school children, IMR, MMR, and anemia amongst women, to name a few. To raise the parameters of human development index in Andhra Pradesh, my government immediately launched Navaratnalu, which focuses on social, economic, and educational empowerment of targeted groups. The results of the efforts of my government are conspicuous in all outcomes. The Niti Aayog, in their recent discussion paper jointly published with the UNDP and Oxford Policy and Human Development in Initiative on Multidimensional Poverty, has projected a steep decline in the poverty headcount ratio in Andhra Pradesh from 4.19% in 2022-23 from 11.77% in 2015-16, with India aspiring single-digit level of poverty from the current level of 11.25 by 2024-25 the phenomenal performance of Andhra Pradesh clearly demonstrated positive and tangible outcomes delivered by a galaxy of pro-poor schemes and policies of the state. My government prioritizes education like nowhere else in the country by initiating path-breaking and innovative schemes targeting improvement in learning outcomes and preparing every child studying in government schools for a bright future and to be globally competitive, believing that investment in education always gives the highest return, my government spent rupees 73,417 crores so far exclusively on these novel schemes introduced in the education sector. Soon after assuming power, my government has noticed that the gross enrollment ratio in primary education in 2017 was 84.48% compared to the national average of 99.21% and identified the urgency of a policy intervention to address this issue with an intent to make sure that poverty does not prevent parents from educating their children my government launched a unique and innovative scheme, Jagananna Ammavadi, in 2019, under which the government directly deposits an annual financial assistance of Rs. 15,000 in the bank accounts of the mothers belonging to BPL families, with children studying from class 1 to intermediate. So far, an amount of Rs. 26,067 crore has been spent benefiting 43.61 lakh mothers and 83 lakh children annually under this initiative.